So now we will be designing the bracket for attaching the upper link to the cross member over here. So this is the upper link green color member. If you bring in the axle, so the upper link connects the chassis to the axle and it is part of the rear suspension. So we had designed for the trailing link which is this one. Now we will design for the upper link. So for that we will need to create two planes. One plane from this side face of the side member create a plane at 130 mm from the side face of the side member offset plane and another plane at 172 mm from the side face of the side member the outer side face so here are the two planes next sketch on these two planes to create a surface which will attach on to the cross member so sketch on these two planes hide all the other peripheral components just bring in the cross member like this and then start sketching over here to basically create a geometry which will attach on to the cross member like this something like this so our surface like this will be basically welded on to the cross member and then we can attach this edge to the plane on the uh, upper link bush so finish sketch and give this a patch give a patch over here and finish it then go to the next plane plane 3 sketch on that plane a similar profile sketch a similar profile try to match this but don't project it because we might have to change it later if we if some things have to be tweaked try to match it but don't project it so don't constrain any of the profile because we will need to tweak it to make sure that the curvature and all of that uh, radius and all of that is coming fine so here is another sketch finish the sketch and then patch it so these two surfaces are created now this will basically form how the bracket will be welded onto the cross member so now we need to make similar surfaces offset from this plane that is the bush plane the mounting plane so construct offset plane take an offset plane from here take 2 mm offset so i have created a plane 2 mm offset from that bush and sketch on that create a simple rectangular sketch over here just to start with and finish the sketch just make sure it covers the circle the circle is inscribed inside the square or the rectangle and just give it a patch press ok do the same thing on this one as well by giving a offset plane offset from that face by 2 mm and create let me hide this and create a square similar to the one earlier and finish the sketch and give a patch over here and press ok so now the idea is to connect this edge to this edge and create the uh, 3d model so for that as you can see this edge is uh, going inside over here so we need to change this sketch so go to this sketch and bring it over here and go to this sketch and slightly rotate this so rotate it like this further modify this by bring it bringing it back and finish the sketch now we can go to create go to loft and connect this with this so this is a loft connected the two edges this point can be raised so raise this point 
this also can be rotated slightly and finish do the same thing over here loft this to this and press ok this sketch also can be modified so slightly bring it back over here we need to make sure that the curvature is not too steep so this is like trial and error we need to get it right by just adjusting and tweaking the sketches the next thing is to join these three one two three this one this one and this one join it using stitch press ok and join this this and this using stitch press ok and then we will create loft so loft between these family of edges 1 2 3 4 and 5 with these family of edges 2 3 4 and 5 so now we can see how the shape is turning out and press ok the next step is to create a join between all of these bodies to make it into a single surface body so select all of them and stitch them together then give the fillets so first we'll start from here this one then this one it's too steep give a fillet over here first keep it as 25 keep this also as 25 press ok give a fillet here let this be 50 and then give one over here let it be 25 and press ok then give a fillet over here and here keep it 20 and press ok and give a fillet over here keep it 20 press ok then a fillet over here keep it 15 press ok and a fillet over here give a high value of say 100 press ok so you can modify this point by going into the sketch slightly raise it yeah this should be fine and the next is we need to give the fillet on this edge so before that we'll slightly modify this sketch so that we can increase the land over here modify this and modify this so that we increase this welding land then give a fillet of say six seven on both and then press ok so this is the surface of the bracket now this has to be divided into two again like in the other cases this will not be formable in traditional stamping so we need to divide this bracket into two pieces which will be welded together to form the bracket assembly which will be welded on to the cross member so for that we need to create a sketch which basically cuts it into two so for that let's sketch on this plane and create a surface like this give a fillet give a fillet here make it a smooth transition and finish the sketch 
and now we'll basically extrude it out extrude this on both the sides and use it for split body go to modify go to split body so body to split this is the body to split and this is the splitting tool press ok so hide the splitting tool so now we have two bodies which have been created so we can modify the sketch to be more in the center yeah. now we can thicken them so go to thicken give inside outside thickness minus 2.6 that's okay go to create go to thicken minus 2.6 that's okay so this is the mounting provision for the upper link of the rear suspension so let me bring the other components so this is the place where it has been packaged so the assembly will be from the top it will be inserted from the top instead of from the bottom so the assembly of the bush will be from the top so we can do some touch up over here by adding the holes and the fillet so add fillet over here so 25 and also this has not been cut with this as the surface so let's hide the and create an offset from here basically an extract create go to modify go to split body select the body to be split this one and select the splitting tool as this and press ok so there is an additional body created over here inside remove it go to split body again body to split this body splitting tool is this surface press ok again find that extra piece and remove it and then we can give the hole over here finish the sketch and go to solid go to extrude cut cut the body 29 and body 30 and press ok 